Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to use the Windows speech recognition software to the fullest. You can actually turn it into an artificial intelligence boat and you can talk to it, it can interact with you. It's it's pretty interesting that that is designed to interact with you, but you aren't able to utilize it fully. So you need a few pieces of software to make it awesome. So let me start, but you can actually um, just interact with my my computer. I call it Tars. Here it is. Hello, Tars. Hello, sir. How are you? I am fine, sir. Introduce yourself. I am Tars. I am Harridge's personal assistant. I am intelligent and can do anything on your computer. I have been designed to take commands from you and execute it really fast. Thank you, Tars. You are welcome, sir. Open Google Chrome. To OK. See, it has brought up the Google Chrome window. And when you're not using it, actually, you can just switch it off. Or else it will start you know, interrupting your work. So, you need to download the Windows Speech Recognition Macros program to execute all these extra commands. For that, all you have to do is just type in Windows Speech yeah, Recognition Macros. Uh, the internet is a bit slow, and yeah, here it is. So, you go to download Windows Speech Recognition Macros from the Windows, I mean, the Microsoft website. And uh, this is not just for Windows 8. As you can see, I'm using it on Windows 7. You can download it from here. I've already downloaded it. So after installing the software, it will look like this. See, this is the software. Double click on it. You can see a lot of options. It's, it's pretty much easy to add commands and to do advanced operations. For example, if you want your computer to insert a text when you speak out something, you can say, for example, insert my phone number and you want to insert your phone number so here's my phone number for example okay and then I click next create okay okay so now you ask it to open notepad Insert my phone number. See, it has inserted my phone number as you can see. And uh, see, I told you if you are not using it, you can just shut it down or just put it in sleep, or else it will cause a lot of trouble. Okay. And it has inserted the thing, and now. Close window. Close window. Close notepad. Uh, don't save. It's pretty fast and pretty cool, and you can even add other commands. Like for example, you want it to open an application. So you say, open Google or open Windows Media Player and you give the command, I've already done it, and locate the path from here, for example. If you want it to open Windows Media Player, you go to Program Files, you go to Windows, and yeah, here it is, Windows Media Player. You click on this, okay? And you, and I've already enabled that command, so you can see this, see. Open Windows Media Player. It's open and I can play music with it. And then if you want to add custom commands, like if you wanted to speak, like the one, the introduction and all, you can do it like this. You click Windows Speech Macros, or go to Advanced. For those uh, who have been doing the website design, this will be pretty much easy, pretty much fast. You can do it very easily. 
how you say listen for what do you, what do you want computer to listen for for example you want to listen for what like if you wanted to listen for cars okay cars i i mean my pc cars as i said earlier and you wanted to And you close the tab. Then you will input what you want to speak. For example, the yeah, X Yeah, I've already created this, and you can see how it looks. Cars. Yes, sir. See, it works pretty fast, and it's accurate. And it listens to you well. It works well, and. Uh, for more information on the, uh, on this Windows Speech macros, we have a lot of you know kind of forums going on and but the problem is as you can see these these are my four processes so I think it uses you know it, it, it puts the CPU into a high performance mode see it uses too much it uses the CPU too much and it gets overheated as I can when I touch the the laptop you know they it's too heated it's overheated but i guess it isn't a big problem because you're not overclocking the cpu after all and uh, so that's it and uh, thank you tars um yeah, thank you tars you are welcome sir okay. can i help you sir is there anything i can't do to refresh you yeah, I, uh, okay so thank you for listening. If you like the tutorial, you can just subscribe to me.